Hey, what's up, Divine Ones? It's Latoya O'Keel. Welcome back to another video, baby. Come on in, come on in. So if you are new to my channel, I am Latoya O'Keel. I'm a master coach, a spiritual leader, and a business mentor. I train and certify life coaches, and we create transformational leaders, baby, for the kingdom of God. So come on in, come on in. If you know that you know that you know that this is your time, this is your season to rise up and to become the leader that you were divinely created to be, baby, you know this your time, you know this your season to step out on faith and rise up then you in the right place and this is the right time baby come on in come on in so getting right on into the message for today the lord say listen you got to stay in your lane you got to stay in your department and don't move out of your lane don't move out of your department he says the how is not your department the how is not your department, baby. I was speaking about this in one of my other videos and God told me to do it as a spinoff, baby. So I'm here with the spinoff. Somebody put it in the comments, say this the spinoff. <laughs> this the spinoff, baby. Y'all put it in the comments. I hear the Lord say in this season, baby, that you walking in, this a faith walk. This a faith walk. You got to walk by faith and not by sight. As the word of God says, you cannot be moved by what you see with these two eyes right here. And what you hearing with these two ears right here, because most of your journey, over 90%, matter of fact, over 90% of your journey, it ain't going to look like what God said. It ain't going to sound like what God said. You ain't going to see no evidence. You ain't going to have no, no facts. You ain't going to, everything ain't going to be stacked up against you. You going to find yourself walking through seasons, baby, where it going to seem impossible. But I hear God speaking to you today. Mm. Open up your ears in the spirit and listen to what the father is saying to you today, baby. He's speaking to the chosen ones in this season. He's speaking to the divine ones. He's speaking to his people. And I hear him say, baby, that I did not bring you this far to leave you, that I have a divine destiny for you. Somebody put it in the comments, baby. Say, God has a divine destiny for me. Divine destiny, baby. That's why I call divine destiny with Latoya because the Lord has called me to be on this channel, to be on this platform, to help you get to your destiny, to help you reach the destination, reach the season of your life that God has planned and predestined you to get to. It's your time for destiny. It's your season for destiny, baby. And I hear him say that your eyes have not seen, your ears have not heard, and it ain't even entered into your heart yet, baby. The good things that God has in store for you because he loves you, but you got to walk this thing by faith and not by sight. And you got to understand that most of your journey, like I just said, it ain't going to look like things are working out for you. It ain't going to sound like things are working out for you. But see, this is where the real gets separated from the fake. Here, this is where the real gets separated from the fake because when you get that bad news, when you get that doctor's report, when you get that phone call, come on now, when you get them unfavorable results, when you get an outcome that you, you didn't plan for, you get that bad news, what do you do? What do you do? And I want you to really think about that. Do the discouragement be so great in your spirit and in your life that you just give up? Do you start complaining? Do you start down the vision? Do you start down God? Because it is in that moment right there. Come on now. It's in that moment right there that you got to make a decision. Like we say down here, baby, is you going to barbecue or are you going to meal do? Barbecue or meal do? Somebody put that in the comments too, baby. Say barbecue or meal do? God looking for some folks in this season, baby, that even when your situation don't look like it's working out for you, even when the business don't look like it's going to succeed, even when the marriage look like it's heading towards divorce, even when the children look like ain't no changes, ain't no transformation, even when that sickness look like it ain't going nowhere and the symptoms are still there. He said it is in that moment right there, baby, that you got to make up your mind that you're going to continue to stand on what God said, that you're going to stand on kingdom business. 
Somebody put it in the comments, baby. Say I'm standing on kingdom business. <laughs> if y'all ain't watched that series, baby, go back on my channel here on YouTube and watch the standing on kingdom business series. We did a whole series about that. This is the season for God's people to stand on kingdom business, baby, to stand on what God said. I don't care come hell or high water. It don't matter what happened in your life. Stand on kingdom business. And I'm not going to sit here on this video and tell you that it's going to be easy, baby, because it ain't going to be easy. It's going to be hard. It's going to be challenging. It's going to be, you're going to go through some of the hardest times, the hardest seasons of your life. Everything in you going to want to give up. Everything in you going to want to throw in the towel. But it's in that moment right there, baby, that you make that decision, that you say, I'm going to keep on standing. I'm going to keep on believing in what God said. And then just like he told me, he said that how is not your department. Whenever you start stressing, and overthinking and you start overanalyzing and you start getting fixated on how this thing is going to happen. Okay, Toya, I know you say God going to make a way. Okay, my pastor told me God going to make a way, but I don't see how it going to happen. How is it? What is it going to be this person? Is it going to be that person? Is it going to come through this door? Is it going to come through that door? How is it going to happen? God say, as soon as you start worrying yourself about how the journey is going to unfold about how it's going to happen. As soon as you start thinking about all the little details and you start stressing and worrying and, and being nervous and, and, and having anxiety over what you don't have and what you don't know and fear starts setting in, he said, you just stepped out of your department. You just stepped out of your department. Somebody put that in the comments, baby. Say, get in your department. Get in your department. What is your department? Your department is faith. God ain't tell you to worry about how it's going to happen. He ain't tell you to worry about how this was going to come together and how that was going to come together and, and, and what going to come out to step five and what going to come out to step nine. And what. God say walk by faith and not by sight. Don't be moved by what you see in the natural. Don't be moved by what you hear in the natural because God is working this thing for you behind the scenes in the spiritual realm. And your faith is what sets this into motion. The Bible says that faith is the substance of things. Come on now. If you ain't got the substance of something, that means the foundation of it. That means what is made up of. If you don't have the foundation of the thing, if you don't have a solid ground, if you don't have what is made up of, if you don't have the ingredients, you ain't got no recipe. You ain't got no meal. So God say, if you ain't got faith, come on now. Somebody put it in the comments. Say, what is your faith? <laughs> what is your faith, baby? I came to stir up your faith today on this video. I came to stir up your belief system. I came to spark something on the inside of you, baby, to light a fire on the inside of you and to encourage you and let you know that you ain't got to worry about how this thing going to play out because that's that's a whole nother department. That's God department. He said, let me and the big boys worry about that. Let me and the big boys worry about how this thing gonna play out. It just like, and this the this the vision he gave me in the spirit. It just like when you at a job and you working somewhere and they done gave you all your qualifications, they done gave you all your roles and responsibilities, and they told you that this is what you're gonna be responsible for, and this is the room that you're gonna be working in, this is your department, this is where you're gonna be set up at, and then you leave out of your department. You leave out of your role, you leave out of your responsibility, and you go over there in the other department, and it's a door over there that has a restricted sign on it. It says, do not enter. It says, do not come over here. <laughs> and you take your curious self right on over there to that door. And, ooh, I wonder what's behind this door. I wonder what they do in him. I wonder what this department for. God say, that's what we do in the spirit realm when we start trying to figure out how it's going to happen. When we start trying to we start trying to make it happen for ourselves. We start trying to make, make this part fit where it ain't going to fit and make this puzzle piece fit in there. And we start stressing and worrying about how it's going to play out, how it's going to unfold. You just stepped out of your department and you going into a restricted door. You going into a restricted area. See that area over there is handled by another department. You don't have to worry yourself about how God going to bring this thing to pass in your life. All you got to do is stay in your lane and stay in your department. Somebody put it in the comments, say faith is my department. That's your department. That's your job. That's what you've been called to do. You've been called to believe. 
believe even when all hell break loose, baby, even when the conditions are not favorable, even when the storms, I feel the power of God, even when the storms are raging in your life, I hear the Lord say, stay in your department. He say, believe, baby, as long as you keep on believing. Oh, he said, I'm going to keep on moving in your situation. As long as you keep on believing. He said, I know you can't see me. I know you can't see it with your two natural eyes, but he said, I need you to come up in the spirit and I need you to get on this faith walk, baby. Somebody put it in the comments. Say, this is a faith walk. This is a faith walk, baby. The only people that going to be able to walk this journey is the people that walk by the spirit. They are not moved by what they see in the natural realm. You got to come up in your faith and you got to walk by faith, baby, and walk with the eyes of the spirit. And even when you don't see the how, you trusting in God because you know that that's God department. I ain't finna leave my place of, of work. I'm not going to leave my workplace. This is my workstation right here. And I'm going to stay right here and mind my little business in my workstation. Because God says, sooner you go to trying to figure out how it's going to happen and you're stressing about the process and stressing about this and stressing about that. He said, you need to mind your business. <laughs> Somebody put it in the comments, baby. Say, I'm minding my business. Oh, okay. I'm minding my business. I'm not finna, uh-uh, uh-uh. See, cause God said, when well, you go to stressing and worrying, Jesus, first of all, Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. So when your heart is troubled, when you're worrying, when you're stressing, you out of your lane, you out of your department, you operating outside of the lane that God called you to operate in. That's why you stressed out. That's why your blood pressure going up. That's why you got sickness in your body. Come on now. That's why you're dealing with all kinds of stuff mentally because you stepping outside of your department. We fight battles that God never called for us to fight. He said, all I need you to do is believe, believe the words that I have spoken unto you. Faith is the currency in the kingdom of God. If you want to get somewhere in the kingdom, you got to have faith. You got to have faith. You can have all the degrees you got on all over your wall, baby. You can, like they say, you can have more degrees than a thermometer. You got all kind of degrees. You got all kind of credentials, all kind of letters behind your name. You got all kind of money in the bank. You got all kind of stocks and, and bonds and investments and properties and all this stuff. You can have all of this stuff, all these possessions. But if you don't have faith, if you don't believe, come on now. If you, those that come to the father must believe, baby, you must believe. Jesus said, according to your faith be it unto you in order for you to receive salvation. It takes faith just to receive salvation because you got to believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God. And you got to believe that he died on the cross for your sins and that he rose with all power in his hands. You got to believe it take, but it take faith just to enter into the kingdom of God. And if you want to ascend, if you want to go higher, you're going to have to have some faith. That's your department. That's what God has called you to do. Not to worry and stress yourself out about how it's going to happen. See, because once you have the faith and you hold to the vision and you believe, I'm going to tell y'all what happened. Because this is what God do with me every single time that I hold to the faith and I believe this is what happened. See, while you sleeping, while you somewhere doing something else, while you somewhere taking care of your children, while you somewhere running your business, while you somewhere sending an email, while you somewhere outside walking with what I love to do, while you somewhere out there on your prayer walk, while you somewhere minding your business, you somewhere in the shower, you somewhere reading, you somewhere studying, you somewhere self-developing. These are the things that you need to be doing, tending to your household, tending to your body, tending to your mind and your spirit. While you somewhere doing all that, God working that thing out. Mm. Somebody put it in the comments, baby. Oh, say God working that thing out. Let me tell you something, baby. Can't nobody work that thing out like God. When you mind your business, when you stay in your lane and you lead a how up to him because you know that ain't your department and you say, I'm going to work my job and I'm going to stay in my lane. I'm going to mind my business and I'm going to work my department. I'm going to believe. Even when all hell break loose to you, I'm going to still believe. That's what I hear you saying. I want you to affirm that today, that you're going to stay in your department, that you're going to keep on believing in the words that God has spoken to you. And he say, as long as you keep believing, I'm going to keep on moving in your situation. And one day, sooner than you think, by the way, one day you look up and you're going to find, one day you wake up and you're going to find that your situation done been worked out. Mm. I heard a quote one time from, uh, I think it was Steve Jobs. 
He said, you can never connect the dots looking forward. He said, you can only connect them looking back when you look back. See, right now you in the thick of it. Right now you in a, it's like you in a maze and you're trying to find your way. You're trying to figure out your way. But I hear God say, I need you to come to me. He said, come to me when you feel lost, baby. Come to me when you feel depressed. Come to me when you're stressed out. Come to me when your heart is troubled. Somebody put it in the comments. Say, I'm going to God. I'm going to God. We be going to everybody else. We be consulting with everybody else. Somebody say, forget them four, baby. I'm going to God. He said, come to me, come to me. And he said, why are you in the thick of it? See, cause you in the thick of the situation, you waist deep in this problem. You waist deep in this storm. And when you waist deep in it, you can't see, you can't see. That's what he, that's what uh, he was talking about in the quote. He said, you can't connect the dots looking forward. See, when you in the middle of it, you can't see the how you can't see how it going to play out. You can't see what, what the next step going to be and what it going to look like five steps down the road. You can't see that. You can only see that when you get to the finish line, when you get to the manifestation, then you can look back and say, Oh, this is why I went through this. This is why I went through that. This is why I needed to be in that place at that time so I could meet this person that was going to connect me to this resource. So you're going to be able to connect the dots, baby, when you get to the place that God has called you to be. But see, you got to let God be your eyes and ears in the spirit. Holy Spirit is your eyes and your ears. He's the voice in your mind whispering to you, telling you how to maneuver through this land when you can't see your way. But that only comes by you surrendering. You have to surrender your life to him. And you can do that right here on this video. Come on now. You ain't got to get to a certain place at a certain time. You can do that right here, right now in this video. Surrender your life to him and say, I give up trying to figure out how this thing going to happen. I'm going to believe. I'm going to hold to the vision and I'm going to stay close to God. Stay in your department, baby. I love y'all so much. I am Latoya Okia. I'm going to check in with y'all later, baby. So y'all keep in mind that we're going to be in Atlanta, Georgia. The divine ones are coming back to the A on September the 14th, 2024. Tickets are on sale. Tickets are available. The link is below in the description, baby. I want y'all to slide in that thing like Eddie Kane Jr. I am so excited about meeting you live and in person in Atlanta, Georgia. Come on in. Come on in, baby. If you've been watching these videos, you've been a loyal, faithful, divine find one. These messages have been blessing you and you ready to take your life to the next level. You ready to take your business to the next level. You ready to take your spiritual walk to the next level. I want you to sow that seed and meet us in Atlanta, Georgia, baby, for the Divine One Seminar. It's going to be an event to remember and I want you to be a part of it, baby. Come on in, come on in, and let's meet live and in person. You're going to be in the room with other Kingdom Connections, other eagles, other leaders just like you that's pushing towards greatness, that's pushing towards success. And when you leave out of that room, you're going to leave with a fire in you, baby, that's going to burn for the rest of your life. I see y'all leaving this seminar on fire for the kingdom, on fire for your marriage, on fire with your household, with your children. I see you getting results. I see you taking this thing to the next level. I see transformation in your life. Come on now. You got to be there, baby. You got to get there. Somebody put it in the comments. Say, I'm, I, I got to get there. I got to get there. This is your season to get in the room, baby. Will I see you in the room? So you click the link below and come on in, come on in. If you have any questions about the event, anything at all, send us an email to support at IamLatoyaOkia.com so we can get you the information that you need, baby. I don't want nothing to hold you up. I want you to get there. If God has purposed it in your heart to get there, then you get there. So we can meet live and in person, baby. You can meet your kingdom family. You got a whole family. You got divine ones. You got family all over the world, baby. We deep off anything. I wish the devil would. Come on now. You got too many people on your team, too many people praying for you and uplifting you and supporting you. You just ain't met them yet. You got to step outside of your comfort zone so you can meet the people that God have for you. Okay. So I love y'all so much. Stay in your lane. Okay. Remember what we talked about on this video. Stay in your department. You just got to hold to the vision. You got to believe. You got to have faith. Don't get the stressing and worrying about how. I, another quote that I love is Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He said, you don't need to see the whole staircase. All you need to do is take the first step. Mm. 
You don't have to see the whole staircase. If you wait until you see the whole staircase, you will never get started. Do y'all know if I would have waited until I saw all of this play out, I would have never got started. I would never be here. I would have never been here right here right now. You wouldn't be seeing me at, in Atlanta on September the 14th. You wouldn't be seeing me on none of this stuff because I had to be willing to say, I'm going to stay in my department and I'm going to believe. I had to believe in the vision that God was showing me when I was sitting on my job all them years ago when I was sitting there rocking my babies, had TJ in this arm, had Tater in this arm and with their pacifiers in their mouth and I'm sitting there and I'm just rocking, rocking and praying, saying, Lord, what a what I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I ain't turn up, baby. I ain't turn up saying, what I'm going to do with two more kids? <laughs> what I'm going to do with two more kids? But listen, baby, by the grace of God, God brought us through that thing. And I be looking at them now. I'm like, my kids are 12 and 13. I be looking at them like, oh, they, they big now. Like they, they, they growing and they growing stronger in the Lord every day, getting their transformations. And who did that, baby? God did that. God did that. And he did it for me. He can do it for you. He has no respect of persons. So whatever you're dealing with right now, whatever you're going through is just temporary. It will not last. This is just a season. Take the lesson from what you're dealing with, from what you're going through, because that's what I did. I pulled the lessons from it and I started a business from it. Take the lessons that life done taught you, that this pain done taught you, and start you a, a stream of income from it. Produce a product from it. Produce a service from it. Produce something that gonna bless other people, that gonna change other people's lives. Start you a YouTube channel. Start you a podcast. Start teaching these lessons that God done, done, done uh, blessed you to be able to receive through the pain, through the trials and the tribulations that you done went through. You don't have to see the whole staircase. All you gotta do is take the first step. Come on now. Just like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, take that first step, baby. And when you get there, that's when you're going to be able to look by and connect the dots. But don't let the how hold you up from your destiny. Come on now. Don't let the how, because you're too busy stressing about how. Well, how I'm going to do that, Toya? How this going to happen? How that going to happen? You th Again, you think I knew how? When I was sitting there with them babies in my arms, you think I knew how? I did not know how, but I believed. I believed and I continued to speak the word of God over myself and over my children and over my home. And I said, I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I am becoming the woman that God has created me to be. You got to speak it, baby, even when you don't see it. That's what your job is. Your job is to walk by faith and not by sight. And like I say, you're going to look up one day and this thing ain't going to be complete. It's going to be done because I be looking at everything now. I'm looking at I'm looking at the people that God done sent to help me with my vision, the divine ones that done showed up, the community, the platform, all of this stuff. And I just be looking. I'm like, Lord, you did that. <laughs> you did that because it wasn't me. You did that. I didn't know how it was going to happen, but God did it, baby. And that's the way it's going to happen for you. He's going to do it for you the same way. But you got to get out of your head and stop stressing over how. And you got to let that department, you got to leave that department to the to God and to the angels, to the big boys. God, God said the kingdom going to step in and make it happen for you. The Holy Spirit going to step in and make it happen for you. All you got to do is believe and take that first step. And when you take that first step, that's when the staircase start opening up. That's when the path starts unfolding. But the path will never unfold until you take the first step, until you get on the path. You got to first get on the path for the path to start to unfold. I love y'all so much, baby. Will I see you in Atlanta? Come on in. Come on in. All right. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed.